What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are doing a little Q&A because we haven't been on YouTube in a minute because we've been on tour. Y'all. had so much going on so we thought we'd catch up with y'all. It's been over three weeks since our last YouTube video. That's bad. That's probably the longest we've ever gone without posting. But That's we, bad. We kind of had a good excuse. We have a great excuse. <laughs> we've been we've been literally like doing the thing. Bro, we've been. Living the dream but, but it's been a lot. It's been a lot. We've been literally on tour the last month and a half. Like out of the new suitcase. hotel room every night, new city every like other day. It's been yeah, crazy. Literally every day is like you wake up, pack up your stuff, like pack up your life, load it up into a car, drive all day, unpack it all, unpack it all. Sometimes you have a show that night, yeah. or you like basically drove all day, so you literally sleep and then wake up, then have do a the show, yeah, do the show the next day. It's been crazy. Repeat. Bro. But we're gonna do a whole life update. This is what this video is all about. We posted some Q&A things on our Instagram, so make sure you go follow those. And we're just gonna be, you know, giving you guys a little life update because we've been gone for so long, right, babe? Right. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, let's just let's just get right into it then. How was your throat after you needed to go to the doctor? Oh my gosh, that's okay, a whole guys. story in itself, right there. <laughs> So if you didn't know, everyone got sick on tour. Like it ran through the crew. Everyone. And I like, yeah, I woke up one day with like a little bit of like a tickle. It wasn't even like a sore throat. It was just like a tickle where I felt like I kind of needed to cough here and there. So I was like, okay, in case this is something starting, we're gonna go get a bunch of immunity stuff. And I'm gonna down it and like try to like, not let, not let this turn into anything. Didn't work. Didn't work. The next <laughs> didn't day, work at I all. was. I said not even the next day. It was that night. Okay, so I went oh, to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I like went to sound check. I sang and I was. Like you have like this tickle, it's making it a little hard for me, but like it sounded fine. I'm just gonna push through tonight. It's gonna be like no big deal, but just letting you guys I was like letting the sound guy know like it might sound a little rougher than normal just because like yeah. I got a tickle. I go on there, I go on the stage that night for the show. Second song in, I'm like, I can barely sing right now. My voice is so gravelly, I'm like <laughs> literally losing my voice. She talks me between the song and it was just like nothing barely came out. I was like, I was like holy crap, I was like guys, so unexpected. I don't know what's going on. I just yeah. lost my voice. But like gravelly, I was just like, I literally could talk all day. And it's so like, if it you were at the so Philly, bad. if you're at the Philly show, you know firsthand what it sounded like. It was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. My voice just left. And so we were like, holy crap. But I pushed through. I mean, it was hard because I was in my head. I'm like, I don't know how bad this sounds when people are recording you. And I don't, yeah, it just was like really hard to sing. And I was just like worried, like, what if I get to the next song and nothing comes out? You know what I mean? Like, what if there's nothing? Like, yeah. I didn't know what to do. I was yeah. like, do I just end the show early? But anyways, so, I got barely the show yeah. and then the next day we drove to New York. Yes, which is like what was it like, like four hours or something? Yeah, quick little drive. Um, and my manager had flown in. It was gonna be the, the New York show like the following day, and so my manager had flown in for that show, which was good. And he scheduled me an appointment with an ENT just to make sure, like when I was singing the night before, that I hadn't like damaged anything. Because <clears throat> like singing while you don't have a voice can be bad. I didn't think I had damaged anything because I didn't like I didn't feel in pain or anything. I just felt like I had so much phlegm in the way that my cords yeah. couldn't like work, but we, they just wanted to be sure. So he found a, a laryngologist who like specializes in vocal cords to look at them. So she checked them out. You guys probably saw that. They were all good. Oh yeah, we did like a video about that. So they were all good and then give you some steroid shots, charge you $1,600 for this appointment. And- That is so stupid because nothing was wrong with my cords. I didn't think there was anything. I'm glad we checked, but we just should have gone to someone. Like we didn't realize how expensive this girl yeah. was gonna be. I think my my manager wanted to go to someone that knew what they were doing, but we didn't realize that doing that in New York, like this it was, was like crazy. a celebrity, like she like does Ariana Grande, Celine Dion, like, like all was, these like, people, and like I guess we probably didn't need that. We just needed someone to look at them. And yeah, yeah, they were yeah. Good, because she gave me antibiotics, and we were like, we want to kick this fast, because she's got to show the next. Like I had to show the next night in Boston, and so she gave me antibiotics to kick it. It didn't end up being bacterial. So I literally had a, like had some kind of virus. So you're basically so, sick for like the next like week. I was Next, I was sick weeks. for two weeks because I think the antibiotics made it like yeah. I don't know if, like how the science works but I've heard those can make it worse and I think it did because I was sick forever and the antibiotics didn't help the steroids Crazy. I don't know maybe those helped guys okay so I, I know we're talking so much yeah, we're we're, up, I, I need to wrap this up I need to wrap Woo! this up but like the girl that gave me the steroid in my butt, she was like, she was like, listen, I was on my deathbed yeah, yeah, one day yeah. and I got the steroid shot. I was running around this office 30 <laughs> minutes later. Okay. She was talking so she's like, I give this, you're gonna be feeling great right no. after. I 
was like, okay, that sounds great. Guys, no, I got to the hotel and slept for the next like 16 oh, hours. Yeah, bro, it was horrible. <laughs> just out, anyways. But we're good now, everyone's not sick anymore. Made it through. Yes, my voice is bro, great. Good. My voice, she looked at them, those were great. Um, unfortunately, Sam got sick, that everyone was a thing. Everyone got sick, but it was everyone all good. Everyone got sick, and everyone got better, and then Natalie got sick again, and then her crew started getting sick again. Again. But luckily, we didn't get that round yeah, yeah. two. We're good now, we're good now. <laughs> That was a whole 10 minute explanation <laughs> of this story. All right, next question. This person asks, do you guys want kids in the future? We've answered this like from our perspective yeah. so many times. So I feel like this time we should use this app. We have an app, guys, that to, is it's an astrology app. We're going to ask the stars, y'all. We're going to ask <laughs> the astrologer. And, and about yeah, they have like astrologists that will like tell you based on like the star signs and whatnot like okay. when they think you're gonna have a kid this is this. actually sick okay this app is called yoda and yeah they literally have astrologers like on the clock like when you ask you ask questions you put in all your information all your stuff and then they like answer it for you so we're gonna ask the astrologers on this app what they think about us having Wait, kids. I'm nervous. What if it says never or what if it, what says, if it says like right now? What if it says tomorrow? Alright, alright. All right. All right, so I got the app pulled up and it has you make your profile. So I put in Jess's information because she remembered what time she was born. I didn't remember. So we put in you know, your birthday, your time, where you were born, and your gender. And then it gives that to the astrologer. So when you ask your question, they can take that and be like, okay, this is your answer. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, let's ask. All right, all right let's, let's ask. ask. When will my husband and I have a baby? Okay, <gasps> all right, said. So this is like the thing, this, these are real astrologers like on shifts. So it's not like an AI quick response. Like you send it in and they like actually formulate a response, a response. based on astrology. So I'm gonna wait for this person to get back to us about our future we'll kids. And then we'll let you know what they said. All right, <laughs> all right, we got our answer back. <laughs> and let's read it. Let's see what they said That's about. A long answer. It's a little bit of a long answer, but let's see what they say. Okay, so first they say stuff about our natal charts and you know stuff about like our personalities right and stuff. Minded. And then the answer says, having said that, the timeline suggests that March 2025, a great time to conceive a child. So that's <laughs> that's in one year from now. So that means we would have the kid in December. <laughs> Of 2020 next a year. A Christmas baby? And then it says if that happens to be a delay or a missed line, then you can do August of 2025 to conceive, which means it'd be 2020. <laughs> Bro, that's actually. <laughs> Could be kind of. That's actually not a bad idea because it would be like 24 when we have the kid. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Oh my gosh. And then it says conceiving a child during these favorable times is likely for you to get pregnant and shall bless you with a healthy and adorable baby boy. Wait, what? Bro, this app is crazy. <laughs> that is insane. All right, so we have a little bit of a promo code for you guys for this app. You guys want to go on there and ask astrologers questions about your future. So click the link at the top of our description and use code hashtag Sam and Jess for one free question. Whatever you want to know, shoot it their way. You can find out when you're going to have a baby. <laughs> Yo, that's insane. All right, next you question. Down below. Someone asked, how are the dogs doing? Guys, this I is... This is the hardest, that's the hardest part about tour. Okay, so originally we were like, oh, we'll take the dogs on tour. You know, we'll be in hotel rooms, we'll be in the car, like they got the crate, their party. Like we'll be all good, we'll be like hanging out with them. So we left the house to like leave for tour and we're like a few hours in. We were planning to take them. We were planning on taking them and we're like, we stopped for lunch and then like we left the dogs in the car because we're like, oh, it's not hot out. It's like whatever it would be like for like 10 minutes. They kept on setting the alarm off in the car because I think our, our rental car had like some sensor, sensor thing where like if somebody moved, when the doors are locked. They stopped the alarm like 10 times. We're like, bro, we're five hours into this trip. Fault. We're five hours into this month and a half trip. And like, they're gonna have to be in the car a lot while yeah, we do yeah, yeah. this. So we're like, bro, this is not gonna work. So my, my aunt and uncle live like on the way down to LA and so and they had offered to watch them. They really love our dogs. Yeah, and we told them, nah, nah, we'll we were be like, good. Okay. We're gonna like, watch. We're gonna... Yeah, we were like, we don't wanna leave them for that long, so we're gonna bring them. But then on the way down, we were like, if we're gonna leave them with anyone, it makes the most sense to leave them with them because, because it's on the way out and then on the way back. Yeah, everyone else we'd like if we like left them with my parents in Louisiana, like 
I don't know how we'd get them back home. Yeah. So I was like, this is gonna make the most sense. So if we're doubting this at all, this is our only we chance. We were like, like we were right two now. hours away from where they live, and we're like, let me just text her and see if she was like really serious about it. <laughs> hours because out. having someone watch them for over a month is also like oh. a really big thing. Bro, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I don't even know if they're gonna want to watch them that long. But I, and she was like, yeah, yeah, bring them back. Whatever, like all bye. good. And she's they're so sweet. I literally like, like owe them. Like we need to, we owe them like a billion dinners. Everything. Billion dinner everything. Dinner <laughs> and, everything. Like, so the dogs are with the aunt and uncle down One there. other thing that happened. Picking them up in five days. I know, I'm so excited. One other thing that like went to it, on the way down, Zara was like panting. In oh, the she car. hates the car. She, well, she, she, just, she hates the car, but usually if she sits on my lap, she's okay. But she just was not settling down. And I'm like, I'm like what's going on? Anyways, we stopped to get gas. And I'm like, I'm just gonna take him to the bathroom. We hadn't been driving that long, but I was no, like, let's just take him to the bathroom. This poor girl starts dragging me to the rocks. <laughs> you cropped her pants. And she doesn't <laughs> usually poop on rocks either. No. She gets to the rocks and just diarrhea. She just had to go. She had to go. Diarrhea. So poor girl. It was rough. And then she was kind of fine, but it was also But hurt. then even after that, after she was she, she was stressed. still like, Stress. So I was like, bro, this is like five hours in. Imagine every day being in these long car. Like this is like they're. Yeah. So we it's just not healthy. We like. I yeah. feel better about you know giving them a backyard and a place to like run around than like yeah. being in, like it's all healthier for the dogs and like their well being. And I so looked being, it up. They don't have yeah. like a it, Google says they don't have a concept of time. So I'm just telling myself <laughs> they don't know how long we left them. We're just gonna walk in and be like, yo. <laughs> we never <laughs> left. This is a quick one. Someone just wants to know how old we are now. Oh. We're both 22. Yo, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy. No, Sam, that's actually crazy. Sam actually turned 22 on tour, so I thought we didn't, we didn't like post a video or anything. It's all right. For his birthday. But bro, I just, I like I since we're filming a YouTube video, I just thought like back to like when we started YouTube, we were like 15, and now we're 22. That's wild, that's bro. That's crazy. I don't even know like, how we got this old. It doesn't even feel like, we still feel like 18. I still feel like literally I'm 18. Literally bro, that's a song, dude. That's a song. But we're 22. That's crazy. It's, crazy. That's it's crazy. really crazy because when we got married, you were like, oh, if I have a kid at 23. Yeah, because we were like 18 and then we're like, oh, that's so far. That's like five years. And now and we're now like, so we're coming up on that. It's going to be like in less than a year. That would be like we could get pregnant soon and have kids at 23. But I don't oh, know yeah. if we're ready now. No. I don't no know. way, dude. All right. Okay, so this next one is something I think we actually need to work on. Oh, okay. okay. Let's hear it. They said, how often do you go on date nights? Oh, calling us out. Guys. Wait, okay, actually, how, how often do we actually go on date nights? Like, never. Okay, outside of tour, let me, when we're at home. No, 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 but I just want to say, like, we are very lucky with, like, how we work together, so I feel like we're always basically, like, together getting we're quality time, together. and I think dates... Um, are always important, but probably even more important when you, you know, you're always at separate work jobs and like yeah. you have kids and you never get that quality time. So I think it's like even more important Facts. to set aside time to do that. We get that time together all the time, but I think we should be more intentional about setting up actual date nights where one of us plans it and makes the other person feel like we put thought into like making yeah. a special date for each other because I feel like most of the time when we like go on a date, it's just like, go oh, dinner. it's just, yeah, we just go out to dinner because you know, we don't have anything to make. So we're like, let's <laughs> just go date. eat. And, but, and we're usually like so tired. So we're just like sitting there eating. And like, we, we obviously yeah. have our time together. But I think we need to be more intentional about being like Facts. twice a month or once a week. We're going to like intentionally do like a fun date yeah. together. I think we yeah, should yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. I agree. Let's answer your question. I agree. I agree. We don't really go on dates. Like really, like not, I guess like for birthdays yeah. or Valentine's Day, I think those are like holidays we do, anniversaries, we do like yeah. actual dates, but we should be better about just doing that. Right, really. I agree. What is your favorite song that Jess has written? Oh, I mean, that's an easy one. <laughs> Obviously it's Someday. Let's take like that, that one out. Okay. If you guys don't know, I wrote a song for Sam about his dad passing when he was 10. So obviously I feel like that, that one's obviously on top. But if we take that one out. There's so many other, like this new one that you're teasing, the slow down one, like that one's like a freaking banger. I feel like they're, I don't know what my favorite one is though. You like noticed me too. Oh, that was another unreleased one. Guys, the next like, the next, the album has a lot of bangers. Okay, how about ones that are out? Yeah. See, I feel like there's so many, I'm not even like thinking of some. How about the, just on pedals? Let's just do this. Okay, all right, we're narrowing it down. Probably he loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. I mean, that one's just like, yeah, I think that one or Glad You're Settled. Glad You're Settled. That one's a good one too. That one is like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all good, but those are probably my favorites. I also like Bad Pet too. I don't know. <laughs> See, I'm trying to say, but they're all good. Dude, they're all freaking good. I don't know what to say. Thanks. 
All right, this person asked, are you staying in Utah forever? By the way, love you guys. We love you too. That's actually a great question. Cause if you guys don't know, we grew up in California. We moved to Utah after we got married and we've been there for the last like three, and three and a half years. And we didn't move there with the intention of being there forever. And I still don't really know if we're gonna be there forever. But with the music thing happening, I don't know where we're like, I don't know, I really don't know. It's really hard because we, We've made like some of the closest friends we've ever had in Utah and like we love them to death. So like leaving them would be like really hard. Um but like That's really the only reason why we're like still there is because we have really good friends. We didn't have we good do, friends. We do else. really love living there. Like yeah. we've enjoyed like we just there's something about Utah, it's beautiful, like it just feels really good. Like we like living there. Yeah, like um, the energy people are really when we nice. come back in is just like yeah, we really like it. Good, yeah. But yeah, with music, I feel like we're going to be coming to Los Angeles a lot, but we don't want to live so I don't want to live LA. here. So Ain't like no way. we don't want to live here, but then like if we also like if we're going to have kids, like you want to be close to like family, but we don't want to live like, where California. either of our parents are. Uh, nah, we we like, yeah, we're California. Yeah. yeah, so it's just like we don't really know. Like, I really do like Utah. Like at least for the yeah. ne like for us for the next like little while. Like I don't really want to live anywhere else. Yeah, know? we'll probably just be we'll probably just be traveling a lot. I don't know. We'll see. We're like it's kind of like we don't know. We might get like a second house like out here in LA that we can like rent out, and then when we need it, like we can come like an live Airbnb in it. B thing, so we could like still visit. But it's also just like California's ridiculously expensive. Yeah. So we're like I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But for now, we're staying in Utah. And we're just gonna be traveling from there. We're just gonna be just going a lot, yeah. probably. But that's the answer. Do you ever feel jealous in your relationship? Jealous? Like about what? <laughs> what does I that mean, even mean? What is <laughs> like what do you mean? What would I be? What would you be jealous about? That just that just shows how healthy a relationship is. But what would you be jealous It'd about? It'd be like I was jealous of like the pictures you're liking on Instagram or like I'm jealous of maybe like if you had a regular job, like how much time you spend oh. like with your coworker or like like you're jealous of how much I'm around other men in the music industry or you know what I mean? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what that meant. I, that's, that's how I interpret it. Like, yeah, no, I it's like when you're dating that. in high school, it'd just be like, I can you see feeling it from jealous. Like high school perspective, yeah. Yeah, like you feel like that's that's honestly like something I noticed when dating Sam, because coming from like I like had a toxic relationship and I did feel those things like all the time. Like I felt like he was always just flirting with other girls. So you're like jealous of them giving someone else like their time. Like, yeah, like you just felt like else. hurt and jealous that like you weren't okay their focus. Like, like you, they yeah, had other yeah. people that seem to, like, to get okay. their attention more. Not but when I started like dating all. you, I felt like I didn't have to fight for your attention because I was like a priority to you. Yeah. And you can have like you had other friends that you would hang out in class and stuff. But I never felt like like you're flirting with them. Yeah. There's like a difference. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't feel like that. So at I feel all. like if you're with the right person, you shouldn't <laughs> have to feel, feel like, like I don't. Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't have to. Oh, we're just chilling. Yeah. It's very nice when you find someone that you don't have to like worry because you just trust them. You yeah. Know? We're just chilling. We're, we're just, just doing out. our thing. We're just hanging out. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but we're just hanging out. Okay. Next question. Someone wants to know what's the best thing about tour and the worst thing about tour. Okay, I think the best thing the best thing is honestly just like obviously the perform like performing is so fun. I think like at first you're like really nervous and just trying to like get through your set without messing up because you're just like worried about that. But like yeah. after I feel like seven shows, once it's like a routine and you feel like really confident in the set, like that's when it becomes really fun and you get like more comfortable and you really feel like you're putting on a show and you're interacting with these people that like know the words to your songs. That's like, the coolest part is everyone yeah. like singing the words. It's so surreal and like and then meeting everyone after the that show, was like, better than all, I thought. Like, we met like thousands of fans like over the last month and a half. Just like yeah, I honestly the, feel like the performing and then meeting you guys is my absolute favorite part. Just because like it just puts everything into perspective. It like makes you feel yeah. like everything you're doing like has purpose, and you're like actually meeting these people that listen to your your songs. And, and you some people, words. some people come and be like, I've been watching you since like 2019 on YouTube. And it's like, oh, that's like insane. It's like five years of like 
being like a supporter so that's, that's so the cool i think that for me at least that's like the coolest part to see like yeah yeah just meeting you guys hugging you um we just like i love it like i there was a couple shows and i was really sick that i we just decided to head home so i could rest and i honestly hated it i just like Want i was like back? i just felt like i was up there for 30 minutes and i went home like i like to just meet you guys yeah. so anyways i think that's the coolest part because yeah you can like always see like the numbers like oh this song got a million streams or 10 million streams but then to see like even just 200 people singing it i feel like that's like cooler than seeing like oh, like, oh my gosh yeah i don't know it's like there's different so there's different, different shows and like seeing different cities have different like energy and like some yeah. just like just really singing the words and like i just didn't know as like an opener mm. if like I'd have fans there because most of the tour was already sold out so I didn't know if like my fans would be able to come or but like But y'all came. Yeah, y'all were there. I think we had like a lot of similar fans maybe yeah. so like yeah there was like crossover so people were there that knew the words and that made me feel That's like lit. so much better on stage. Okay, what's the worst part now? Probably just being away from home and being away from the dogs, at least for me. Yeah, I think missing the dogs and I also feel like it's a little exhausting just like the like the drives and like packing everything up. But even everything. that hasn't been as bad. Just missing the Honestly, dogs. Honestly, yeah. Worse. I think that I think just like not being at home and being away from like our normal routine is hard and like creating content for you guys and like our couple stuff is like hard to do while we're just like on the road so Driving, busy. Yeah. But honestly, other than that, it's all been like pretty easy and just like kind of fun. It's, so. been, it's been better than I thought for yeah. sure. Yeah. But yeah, I, we just talk about all the time how we wish we could text the dogs and just tell them that. Yeah, like, we're like, coming yo. home. <laughs> We're coming home, but they don't. But they don't know. Anyway, <laughs> they don't know nothing. Okay, Sam wants me to ask this question. Last question. Okay, this is funny because she's gonna explain it. Someone asked, "What's your favorite book?" Okay, guys. I'm What's your favorite book, babe? I'm Quite concerned. Okay, I've been. <laughs> I started the Twisted series because like it was all over TikTok. And I saw all these things like, oh, I once I turned over to these books, I'm never going back to Colleen Hoover. And because you read about like ten Colleen Hoover books. Yeah, I love her books. So I was like, yeah. better than that. I was like, what the heck? So I bought the series, right? I think Sam got me a couple in like baskets or whatever. Yeah. The storylines yeah. are pretty good, but they are graphic. Really bad. Like I have to skip pages bad. And like I want to like put like a disclaimer out there. Like if you are like freaking like under sixteen, yeah, you should not read. Those just books. don't like like it's I'm uncomfortable. I'm kind of scarred. Like I don't know what this girl like. It's a. I feel like they're good like storylines, but then like there's one or two chapters in the middle that are just like you don't even know the storylines. But you like tell me sometimes. I'm like okay, that's like a good like you know their like yeah. relationship blah blah. But then they get in the bedroom and it's like what? that's all I'm gonna say. Like it's like it's. <laughs> I like, have to like read them names. I'm like Sam, what the like, heck? What I don't know how you think of like some of these things. That, like, <laughs> I you're know. Doing. So anyways, <laughs> um, that's definitely not my favorite <laughs> book. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna finish the series just because I feel like. And if you are a fan, I'm so sorry. Like. Well, I mean, like. I read the first. What's thing, going I don't on? Know, though, you know. Like, <laughs> Yeah, no, I've had so many people <laughs> tell me that like that's like I like on comments if I like have the book in the background, people will be like, "That's my favorite series ever," and I'm like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> I'm like, "That's kind of concerning." <laughs> concerning, y'all. We are like, reading. I mean, I guess the storylines are good, but like, cause it's just my opinion. They're I mean, not, if you just skip those chapters, then like they are really good, but they're not. For some reason, I feel like the Clean Hoover books like have like deeper meaning, at least in compared to this one series. I haven't read um, any other books by Anna. I think it's Hung. But anyways, I I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna be starting a different series. I'm gonna be starting a Court of Thorns and Roses next. And we're gonna see how those are. See how that goes. Yeah. I think I think they're like more fantasy, less romance, but they they, have, they still have romance in them. Hey, you know what? So I'm hoping romance. it's a little more PG, you know, 13 yeah. rather than. I felt like those books are like R, and I just triple R, dude. I felt like I needed to like <laughs> cleanse myself after some of those yeah. chapters. I was reading and like while we're on like driving, and I'm sitting here and I have like you know my husband, my manager, my guitarist, and I'm just <laughs> reading this book in the back, and I'm like. <laughs> wow! Like everyone's sitting around. I'm just, it's like that TikTok. Have you guys seen the TikTok where it's like what they think I'm reading with, and like versus like, like what I bleep 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 <laughs> bleep. bleep, bleep. <laughs> That's literally. Cool. And then shoot, the TikTok was reading that book. Too. Yeah, they so were like, literally, literally reading that book. Anyways. But you know, there's a lot of books like that because I someone else posted a series where we listened to the audiobook. Oh, that was insane. That too. was insane too. Y'all, books are insane. I don't know, like. I didn't. I wasn't what's aware, going on. like how. Crazy yeah. people were putting stuff down. Oh, that's insane. Anyways. But anyways, we're gonna end the video right there on that note. <laughs> that's a great note to end the video. So we hope you guys enjoyed. If Make you guys sure. 
want more videos like this, let us know in the comments. Yeah, comment down below. We're back on the YouTube grind. Remember when we get home in a week? We already have one video we're doing. We're, we're back on it, y'all. Comment down below like all your video ideas because I want to start posting like one to two times a week again on YouTube. Get back to y'all. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Here's our post to make a shout out. We, we love, love and appreciate, appreciate you. you. And if you guys want to try our next video, you already know what to do. Alright, we love you guys. And until next time, bye.